Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a system so that uh, when the enemy is going to attack on top of his head, this icon will appear so that the player can know he is going to do some blockable attack. He can press right mouse button and block that attack. When the enemy character is doing an unblockable attack it this icon will appear so that the player should player can press space and evade and here is the demonstration is yeah this is a blockable attack so i can block and this is an unblockable attack so i have to evade Okay, so I think you get the idea. That's what I'm going to do today. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. That means a lot to me. Alright, so first I'm going, I have imported this image. This represents the similar symbol for this attack icon and when the attack is unblockable, player should sp uh, press space to evade from that attack. So let's first implement this unblockable attacks. I'll open my human character as always. And at the moment, I don't have, I haven't implemented these uh, unblockable attacks right so how do we implement that we can do one thing so let's make these uh, combo attacks or the attacks that I press and hold and so let's make these attacks are unblockable so And that's relevant only for no that's relevant for even the player character right so first let's check where do we check the hits we check the hits in here in this method and if the player is blocking we take this path otherwise we take this path and here also we should consider that uh, yeah we have this can block element as well so so yeah I have already put this unblock can block element so let's see oh sorry let's see if I disable it somewhere and we call this function from the from here from the animation blueprint tag move and check it yeah and here we have this unblockable hit and that's uh, I have used this only for the kick for the moment so okay so yeah now now i know where should i implement or oh, add this notifier 
I should add that notifier in here under night and under sword we have this combo attack and here for this check hits I should use instead of check hit I should use check unblockable hit event I'll change this first instead of check hit I'll add check unblockable hit Now I have to implement the unblockable attacks for the AI character because for the moment I have enabled them only for the player character. With uh, this, with this uh, atta hold attack button and release in here. So this becomes a charged attack. So these charged attacks are the unblockable attacks. And this charge becomes true only if uh, the player press and hold the attack button. So here uh, for the AI attacks I can set the charged button true. with the with some random number but for now yeah like this and after that the enemies also can do charged attacks. Now where should I enable that icon? At the moment I enable this uh, this other attack icon in my ch enemy class with this show icon and under ch human class we don't have that widget component which i have here so it would be better if i do that charged attack setting this charge attack right there so i'll remove this one and under here I get some room set char with the random bool and do the attack and for this show icon I'm gonna have to change this a little bit so let's uh, here I'll go to the widget that I am implementing that function so it's under under enemy details and this is where it happens and now I should have couple of things so here I'm going to pass that uh, this texture so in, in, when there is an unblockable attack instead of this I should have this one and also I may be able to take this tint color as well as an input but to keep things simple I reset this color and I have changed the colors of these icons 
outside so I'll re-import them mm. these are the changed colors right now I have this icon with the color and this icon so what I need now is I need this here I need to change the icon image so how can I do that I can do it like this set brush from texture and now as the input I need a text to the object oh I can't yeah so I'll define an input here a new input called icon texture 2d okay now here I can get it and right now I have to give that input here so how can I do that I'll do a select with this charged variable and connect here and if this is false I can use the attack icon and this is true I can use the evade icon and also we have one more issue here when I set this charge to true and when I call the AI attack function immediately after attacking I set that charged function to false so therefore I'm gonna have to call this show icon first before calling this AI attack okay so let's test if that works right normal attack so I can block if the red icon appears then I should evade Okay, I'll stop. Uh, I'll not evade and stay safe. I'll keep blocking and stay. So that when he's do when he does the unblockable attack just like this, I should get hurt. Right. And I'm dead. Alright. So that's all I wanted to do today. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do for today and next time let's uh, do some more things to our combat system. Feel free to let me know any suggestions you guys have and uh, if you like to support my work you can go to patreon.com and and there you can get the membership of this uh, my Patreon club and depending on the membership you will have different privileges like access to source code and asking questions actually anyone can ask questions and make suggestions special requests on topics that uh, you guys need me to cover like that alright so see you in the next episode goodbye